Hi, my name is Lola, and I'm an insomniac. Hi, Lola. I have been an insomniac for, I don't know, since I was in university, so for probably 15 years or so. Um, and I usually only get between three and five hours of sleep a night. I'm used to it. It works for me. You know, the nights when I get more, I feel like a new person. But, you know, that's just the way that my body works. I'm an insomniac and I can't help it. So, um, I've been having something strange happen recently where the sounds that I hear, um, like notifications from my phone, um, my alarm, I'm incorporating them into my dreams. And <laughs> it's getting a little bit strange because I wake up and I'm so disoriented because there's this cacophony of sound that I have in my head that when I actually wake up, I realize that it's just one sound that's happening, but I have incorporated all of the sounds that I've been hearing for the last hour into my dream and they all happen at once. So I'm not exactly sure what to do with that or why my brain is processing like that, but it's very disorienting to wake up that way. And sometimes I have like woken up with my alarm and realized that, oh crap, my alarm has gone off four times and I haven't heard it. So I'm <laughs> getting up way late, I'm leaving my house late, rushing to work and, you know, getting there uh, maybe five minutes behind schedule, but that's because I get there so ridiculously early that there's no traffic. So it's not really a huge problem, it hasn't impacted my life, other than the fact that I wake up just as tired as when I went to bed. And so I don't know what has started this, but it's only been in the last like six weeks or so that this has been happening. So I'm just really almost overwhelmed by uh, the sound that's happening in my dreams that I'm just pulling from random things. So like, you know, my phone will be making noises um, after it's silent period, because I, you know, I turn the sound off from like midnight to 5 a.m. or something like that. And I'll just hear the sounds from my phone. You know, the ringtones, like... Tweet, 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 text message. Or... Or this one. So all of those will be incorporated into my dream. And so, you know, my alarm will go off and that sound will be happening. And it sounds like this. So it's not really subtle or anything. And then, you know, I'll have my individual ringtones and my, you know, alert messages for all of my five email addresses and so it's just a, a weird cacophony of sound that is happening. <laughs> and I don't know what to do about it. I'm assuming that probably if I went to bed earlier than I normally do, which is I generally like crawl into bed around 11 o'clock at night and then I stay up reading or playing games on my phone or my iPad uh, until, you know, midnight, one o'clock. And then I wake up at 5.45. Or I try to wake up at 5.45. Hasn't been working so well lately. Um, so if maybe I go to bed earlier, that will take me out of my like weird REM state so that I'm not dreaming about all these sounds. Maybe I just need to leave my sounds off until like after my alarm goes off. I like I don't know what the solution is. You have any suggestions? Let me know in the comments down below.
because I'm willing to try anything at this point because I am so drained by the time I actually wake up in the morning that I, I'm just fuzzy on what's happening around me. And so <laughs> if you try to talk to me like after the first two or three hours that I wake up, I'm a little bit glazed over. So that's, it's inconvenient when I have to be at work at 6.30 in the morning. So. I really wish that would stop. I'd like to get some sleep and wake up rested. I can't be the only one out there <laughs> who's having these weird kick off in his dreams. If you like my vlog, give me a big thumbs up. Leave me any comments or questions below and please subscribe. Today is the first day in like the last week that I have felt more like a person instead of like a plague victim. Because I've been sick. And man. Being sick in the summer kind of sucks. Because it's really nice outside and that's unusual for Seattle in May. Usually it's very rainy, but it's been sunny and gorgeous, and I'm just really wanting to go hang out outside, get some sun on my pale, pale, pale skin. That would be nice. I mean, I'll have to take out my sunglasses. Do I even know where they are? No clue. We don't have enough sun in Seattle to warrant knowing where my sunglasses are. Yeah, it's good times. It's good times! Hi, I'm filming this on my brand new camera! Woohoo! I'm really excited about it. It's uh, hopefully working well. This one. Damn it, that one's right. All of my ringtones are missing. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> well, that was a yawn. <laughs> Leave any comments, questions, questions. Little, little, little. Tired. See you soon.